Saturday of the second week of Easter, 30th April 2022. First reading. Reading from the Book of Acts. About this time, when the number of disciples was increasing, the Hellenists made a complaint against the Hebrews. In the daily distribution, their widows were being overlooked. So the twelve called a full meeting of the disciples and addressed them. It would not be right for us to neglect the word of God so as to give out food. You brothers must select from among yourselves seven men of good reputation, filled with the spirit and with wisdom. We will hand over this duty to them and continue to devote ourselves to prayer and to the service of the word. The whole assembly approved of this proposal and elected Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, together with Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these to the apostles, who prayed and laid their hands on them. The word of the Lord continued to spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem was greatly increased and a large group of priests made their submission to the faith. The Sponsorial Psalm May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you jest, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-stringed lute singing him songs. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. For the love of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. The Lord looks on to those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Gospel Acclamation Hallelujah, hallelujah! Christ, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. Hallelujah! Gospel Reading from the Book of John In the evening the disciples went down to the shore of the lake and got into a boat to make for Capernaum, on the other side of the lake. It was getting dark by now, and Jesus had still not rejoined them. The wind was strong and the sea was getting rough. They had rowed three or four miles when they saw Jesus, walking on the lake and coming towards the boat. This frightened them, but he said, It is I, do not be afraid. They were for taking him into the boat. But in no time it reached the shore at the place they were making for. Gospel of the Lord.